Hey guys, Thermal here. Today we're going to be doing the Warlords of Draenor uh, raid, starting with Highmall, doing then Blackrock Foundry, and then Hellfire Citadel. Basically just trying to figure out how much gold per hour we can make uh, by doing these raids, and whether it's worth farming these raids for gold. So I've been using Instance Gold Tracker, um, and you can see... Uh, in my last video, I did Mists of Pandaria raids, and the best ones there was Terrace of Endless Springs, as well as, as, well as um, Heart of Fear, having pretty high gold per hour. So it will be interesting to see how the Mists of Pandaria raids compare to the Warlords of Draenor raids. So to start it off, we're going to be doing High Maul first. Uh, for those who don't know, it's in Nagrand, just where my cursor is here. We've just finished High Mall. it took 14 minutes 34, getting a total gold of 883, which is 3,637 gold per hour. Um, based off of the Mists of Pandaria that, uh, raids that we did in the previous video, that puts High Mall kind of in the middle of the pack for gold farming. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not also as good as the uh, other ones in Mists of Pandaria. Uh, we're now at Black Rock uh, Foundry, the raid, and if you don't know where that is, it's in Gorgrund, um, where my cursor is. Just finished Blackrock Foundry, the run took 19 minutes 25, the total gold earned was 1130, giving that a total of 3493 gold per hour, slightly less than the high mall run. I'm now at Hellfire Citadel, and for those who don't know where that is, it's in Tanan Jungle, and um, gotta get that underway now.
I've just finished Hellfire Citadel. It took 25 minutes and 37 seconds, getting a total gold of 1,482, which brings it to 3,471 gold per hour. So the Warlords of Draenor raids are all fairly similar with gold per hour. Um, the previous um, raids I did in Mists of Pandaria had some, uh, two of the raids had better results, Terrace of Endless Springs, as well as Heart of Fear. But um, these results here are pretty, pretty reasonable in comparison to the Mists of Pandaria raids. I'd say other players probably have faster ways of making gold per hour, but if you're, you know, you don't have professions, you're not proficient on the auction house, then I'd say that doing these raids weekly is a good way to make some gold. So just completing all of the Warlords of Draenor raids, you'd have around um, 3,500 gold for roughly uh, 45, about an hour. So it's not too bad if you're just looking to get a little bit of extra gold each week and you enjoy doing uh, raids and that's a good way to do it. You can also pick up Transmog along the way as well. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe. Uh, I will be doing... I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. Uh, but so far I've done... Uh, so Warlords of Drain on Mists of Pandaria. Um, I plan to, to do all of them before Shadowlands release, but which one I'm going to do next, I'm not entirely sure. But um, if you subscribe, you'll get to see the next episode of this series. Um, that's it for today, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.